Hey folks, this is Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome to the Farm Vlog this morning. We are in Polk, Ohio. We're getting ready to head out on the road here and we're going to Meyer Hatchery. So this is the third stop on our road trip, Farm Stock 2018. Pick yourself up a t-shirt. Last night, all the baby chicks hatched. It's a family operation here in Polk, Ohio. Meyer Hatchery, we're gonna go and see what the baby chick hatch day is all about. So come along today on the farm vlog. We're gonna have some fun, we're gonna learn something, and we're gonna see what a family-owned hatchery is like. And we'll talk to them a little bit. All right, let's have some fun. Woo! This successful life we're living's got us feeding like the Hatfields and the cold. excited this is going to be one of the highlights of our trip we had an awesome time with one lonely farmer if you didn't see that video check it out right here that guy has a heart of gold he's a family man runs a big farm lots of stress lots of money going in and going out it was pretty amazing to see the amount of equipment that he had so if you haven't seen that that was the first vlog in this series and if you haven't subscribed to the channel go on and subscribe we've created a playlist for farm stock 2018 so you can go back and watch these over and over again if you enjoy this kind of stuff cool we're about to pull into meyer hatchery all right so we're here at meyer hatchery and we're going to go inside and we're going to talk with the owner karen meyer and she's going to take us around it is chick hatch day and the baby chicks are all sitting in little bins and being sorted and packed away into their boxes to go out to their new owners so come on inside we'll have some fun we'll talk to karen and we'll go through the entire process here we're going to go through the incubators the baby chicks the hatching room how they clean their supplies all sorts of awesome stuff guys this is going to be very fun and educational so the first place we go is we wash our feet before we go in here and then we'll walk into the room where the baby chicks are. Now guys, this is a total behind the scenes thing that you would never ever ever have the opportunity to see. This is a family operation. It's all hand done. Everything is done by hand. No automation. It's really awesome. So let's go interview Karen. So guys, Karen is normal sized and I am gigantic sized. So. <laughs> we're gonna interview Karen we're gonna walk through here this is Karen Meyer the owner of Meyer Hatchery welcome to Meyer Hatchery and what you're looking at right here behind me is the shipping department and all of these baskets contain the baby chicks that we've hatched out here in, in like the last 12 hours and within the next 12 hours they will be on their way to the post office they'll be packed up in boxes and on their way to the post office um, but before they get to this point, we're going to walk you through the flow of how the eggs come in the building and where the eggs go from step by step, how they wind up into these baskets. So we'll go this way. Come in. Okay, so the eggs stay at the breeder houses. Uh, for a week, every week we go to pick the eggs up. They remain, uh, of sorted by breed, kept uh, in boxes, kept in a cool area over in the breeder houses. Uh, each breeder house holds about 5,000 birds, up to 20 to 30 different breeds in each building. Um, so every week then our driver goes over there and the eggs are already packed in the boxes and ready to come over to here. So they, they come in in 30 cases, uh, 30 dozen eggs in a box like this. Every box is very identified with the breed that's in it, the quantity that's in it. And so from, from the boxes then, the eggs are set with a pneumatic lift um, onto these setter trolleys. And each tray here would contain the eggs, uh, pointed end down, and 132 eggs on each one of these trays. 30, 36 on a cart. And there are four, four of these carts then will go into one of our setters. Once the eggs get on these carts, they remain in here until we're ready to put them into the setters. So they come in on a Thursday, then they wind up in the incubators uh, on late on Sunday evening. So these are the setters right here. That we have uh, 12 of them all together. Each machine holds 19,004 eggs. And so the eggs come in on those carts into the setters. 
and we have to keep track of every breed. We keep track of the total number of eggs that come in from each breed, and then they wind up on those carts, and each cart you know, has a tag that identifies the egg on there, and then we identify that into the machine. So this machine uh, has the broilers and some bantams and cochins and some miscellaneous. Uh, so these went in on September 10th. It says right there, that's Dewey's birthday. That's my husband, so he's gonna oh, the birthday on September 10th. Went in at 7 p.m. The machine was set to turn on at 10 p.m. on Sunday, so they have an automatic start on these, a delayed start. <coughs> so once they're in here, then they turn. These turn every hour. So I'll show you the level position. That. There's, there's four parts in here. That's the level position, and then it goes to auto, and it turns every hour. And this uh, this is a Buckeye machine, uh, and it even keeps track of the number of turn counts. That was 100 number 186 times that it's turned since they've been in here. This also tells us what the temperature is. Set point on all the setters, the hatch, the incubators, is uh, the temperature here is set at 99.9, and it's actually running at 98.9 right now due to the fact we had the door open. Uh, humidity is set at 55, and granted it went down to 34, and so the vent, if you don't set the vent at a certain point, it works in conjunction with whatever the humidity is doing and with whatever the temperature is doing. So since the temperature went down and the humidity went down a little bit, the vent will start to close down a little bit. But once all these uh, set points are um, up to where they should be, then it usually the vent will just kind of float open or close, depending on what it needs to do. And once, once these eggs have been in here for about five or six days, they have a lot of heat in them. So it doesn't take a whole lot to maintain one of these machines as far as it doesn't heat a whole lot, doesn't need to cool a whole lot but it is always has the fans always running in there and they always turn every hour. Three days before they hatch, which would be day 18 for the chicks because they hatch in 21 days and then the turkeys hatch uh, in 28 days. So on day 25 for the turkeys and day 18 for the chicks, they go from the setters in there, which are turning. They go in here to the hatcher and they're put into hatching baskets. So once the eggs, once the chicks start to hatch out, they need to be laying flat in these baskets. So there's a little more room in here than there was on those trays. So these are some leghorns right here. They're hatching out. And of course the machine has a lot of uh, eggshells and chick down, and that's what these machines look like. This is the dirty area right here, because uh, this is where they hatch, so it's a lot messier than where the setters were. Over in the setter area, those machines don't get really dirty, there's no eggs hatching, um, you know, no dust or anything. So these machines get uh, swept out, they get hosed down, they get foamed down with a disinfectant, soft brush, washes everything down every week, inside, outside, and then uh, the same thing with the baskets, those also get washed. So here is the dirty area where all the dirty uh, hatching baskets have wound up. This is what they look like after chicks have been in them. They have a little bit of broken shell, a little bit of uh, chick manure in there. These, yeah, these get pretty dirty. So these get washed after each use. Foam them down with some soapy water. Uh, then from there they go through this commercial uh, tray washer. It has a chain in there, pulls them through big jets that walk, blow the water up and clean them off. Rinse them off on the other end, stack them back on the uh, carts, and they go into the back into the clean incubators or the hatchers uh, where they are. Then they dry back down, and we reuse them uh, the next Thursday. And that water, then after we've all this water that goes through the machines to cool them, uh, wind up over here in these tanks. So we're able to recycle the clean water, and that's what we use for washing. Uh, trays, washing the floors, and other general washing in the building. Now along with the hatchery, there is a dairy farm over here that has 500 milk cows. Whatever water doesn't get used up here at the hatchery gets pumped over there and used for the milk cows. So all the clean water that's used to cool these machines gets recycled and reused over and over again. It's really, really cool. Okay. Okay.
Guys, this is Megan. Megan is the website manager. Website manager yep. for Meyer Hatchery. So this is a young lady we've been working with throughout all of our videos with Meyer Hatchery, showing you how to raise your chicks. So we're going to show you right now how the order process goes. So we're going to go from printing to boxing to finding the right birds and show you exactly how it's all done. So basically we print our label here first. This is a small order. Meyer Hatchery can do as few as three. Yep. So we're going to get a full nest box. So this is a full nest whenever you do a small order. If you have more birds in it, you might see a half nest like this. And then if you have lots of birds on your order, this is no nest, and it's just the bedding in the bottom because they create a lot of their own body heat. That's it. Yeah. So it's just that simple. It's all done by hand. You put your order in, a ticket prints off, it gets on the top of the box. These folks go in, they pack the birds away, they put the label on it, they make sure that they're cared for, and that's the main thing. The birds are cared for by people that actually care about your birds. It's not done by some machine that's dropping your bird on a conveyor belt. Awesome. So I know you're curious about what's going on here and all these baby chicks. So we're going to take you around, walk you around a little bit, and tell you how the chicks are identified by the hatchery before they're shipped out. All right, so each bird is identified by the name and the number and what the bird looks like. So these guys that are packing up the birds, they know what kind of bird it is because of the name and the number and what the bird looks like. So if there is a black bird, a black Jersey giant over in the Delawares, they'll know it really quickly. So you cruise right through here and basically all these red bins are females. And then over here, all these blue bins are males. And these chicks have been sexed. And that was done last night and boy, did I want to take you and show you how to sex baby chicks, but we couldn't do it. Maybe next time we come up, we'll get an opportunity to do that. Now let's take you over here and show you some of the rare breeds. Now right here are the black copper morans, cute little birds. And these are all the rare birds right here. Now, if it's a rare bird that's difficult to identify, most of them will have a little band on their leg, just like that guy right there. Pretty cool, right there. So. You can identify your rare birds and your hard to identify birds. Now right here is a little box and this is called the Meyer Meal Maker box. And all these birds are just mixed breeds and if you just ask for them at checkout, they'll give you a Meyer Meal Maker bird for free. Now the deal is if you order a Meyer Meal Maker bird, then you have to donate the eggs or donate the meat to help feed the hungry. Pretty awesome. It's an awesome place guys. Really cool. So guys, we're in the Meyer Hatchery store here. If you live locally here in Ohio, or if you live locally here within two or three hours, it's worth the drive to come out here and check this place out. Get your chicken supplies at MeyerHatchery.com. Anything you see in this store, and we're going to walk around and kind of show you what all is in here, but anything you see in this store can be bought online. And if you don't see it on the website, just call and ask. All right. Got all sorts of awesome chicken decor for your chicken coop. Love lives here. That's pretty cool. So Meyer Hatchery offers a full line of chicken snacks and also out here you can get your feed and you can order your feed online from Meyer Hatchery and they have a non soy based all organic food option, which is really, really cool for you folks that are wanting to live a very clean and conscious life. We've got some cool little laying boxes. We're just going to walk around here and show you what they have. Neat wooden laying boxes, metal laying boxes, feeders, waterers, anything for the guy that has two chickens or the guy that has 200 chickens. A vast array of feeders and waterers and all sorts of stuff that you really have never seen. This is a neat little display of the poultry feeding nipples. So we talked to them about what nipples work the best. These guys drip a little bit. These guys work really good. And this little feeder thing works great for bantams. Pretty interesting. So if you got a good supply of water, you can always hook up these poultry nipples and save on your water bill for your chickens. Check this guy out. <laughs> Never seen anything like that. I guess you can put ice in there so that your chickens can be fed ice water. Awesome. Cruising around here, we have cages to catch those critters that are trying to eat your chickens. We also have an awesome little brooder box here. And this is for baby chicks. If you hatch them out yourself, a little brooder box. Right over here, I want to show you. These are our brooder lamps and brooder area. And here are some turkeys in the brooder. Cute little guys. Squeeze in tight like we're all friends. We know each other. Way back. 
Guys, I want to thank you a whole lot for coming to Meyer Hatchery today. We're having some fun here on the hatchery. Come on and check us out next time on the Stony Ridge Farm Channel and enjoy this Farm Stock 2018 road trip. All right, see you next time. Woo! -hoo! <laughs> Okay, put your model faces on, get your smiles on, tighten up, be ready. <laughs> bird, 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 bird is a word. We're at Meyer Hatchery right here. These ladies don't want to be on camera, but we're putting them on camera anyway. Uh -huh. Woo! Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> don't want to curb it. <laughs> and it's dark in here. Well, east has got to be right because the sun's going that way. It's like I'm piloting a ship across the sea. I know which way east is. Google. Make a U-turn. <laughs> you want a fun travel buddy? Folks, this is one of the... There, 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 there's one. Uh, now we're really gonna feel short. Selfie <laughs> angle, hello. Squeeze in tight like we're all <laughs> friends. Okay. We know each other from way back. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs>